Hi everyone, my name is Arthur Ferge. I'm a PhD student at University Paris-Saclay and today I will be talking about multiple collaboration between augmented reality and remote desktop users. Remote collaboration has become commonplace during the past few years, especially since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, modeling 3D content from a desktop computer with a remote collaborator using an augmented reality headset can be challenging. Indeed, collaborators need to maintain a workspace awareness despite their distance and device asymmetry. The points of a remote workspace have been studied in the past by several studies, but trade-offs between first-person and third-person views are somehow contradictory and inconclusive. Other studies considered instead fully independent views, relying on a 3D reconstruction of the real scene, but this approach is limited by the technical complexity required for the reconstruction and the uncanny valley of telepresence that can be experienced due to the quality of the reconstruction. Considering the impact of viewpoint, workspace representations, and navigation control, we investigated three remote workspace representations. A fully virtual representation, a first-person view as provided by an augmented reality headset, and an augmented third-person view as captured by an external fixed camera with a depth sensor. Our goal was to understand how do remote users perceive the trade-offs of the three representations when providing instruction to an augmented reality worker. To this purpose, we recruited 24 volunteers and divided them into two groups of 12 participants. Focusing on the viewpoint of the augmented reality video, the first group compared the headset view with an external view. Focusing on the workspace representation and the type of navigation control, the second group compared the headset view with a virtual view. For each part, we followed a within-participant design where all 12 participants tested both configurations. Participants were asked to place 3D pieces of different shapes on a virtual board by giving oral instruction to the experimenter who acted as a surrogate. Here, we can see an example of the task perceived by a participant experiencing the external view. The piece's position was, giving, was given by a 2D top view pattern, randomly generated and unknown to the experimenter. The external view main advantage appears to be the global awareness provided about the remote physical environment. Yet, the orientation of this view required to mentally perform a rotation transformation. The virtual view supports independent navigation, helping the remote user to provide instruction from a convenient but also stable point of view. However, this view is lacking information regarding the physical environment. Finally, the headset view seems especially effective for perceiving the actions of the augmented reality user and communicating egocentric instructions. But this view can be too shaky and induce motion sickness. Based on these results and user's feedback, we then considered two design goals. First, combine the three previous views while providing fluid transition between them. And secondly, provide tools that minimize communication effort and facilitate coordination. To enforce this course, we designed a multiple remote collaboration system called Argus. With its lateral button, Argus's user interface provides a quick way to switch between view. By clicking on the external view button, the main view will change to the external view. Similar similarly, by clicking the headset view button, the main view will change to the headset view. Switching to the external view or the headset view can also be done by clicking on their 3D representation. By clicking on the 3D headset, the view, the view will switch to the headset view. Likewise, the view will switch to the external view by clicking on the 3D model of the Kinect. At any moment, Argus also offers the possibility to display live previews of all three views by hovering the view buttons. This mechanism aims to prevent the short burst of switching between views. Previews can also be displayed by hovering the 3D representation of the headset or the external camera. To ensure visual consistency among views and avoid disorientation, we use a trajectory and field of view interpolation to animate the virtual camera in the 3D scene. Argus allows transition between viewpoints by clicking on the view button or by clicking on the 3D representation. To facilitate close inspection of specific parts of a 3D model, we integrate into Argus's user interface a spherical view tool. Activated within either the external or the virtual view, Users can move a virtual camera on the surface of a sphere to show a camera preview. Users can keep the current viewpoint or switch to the preview camera position. Argus also provides a virtual stick controlled with a mouse. A preview of its tip is displayed to help users perceive depth and understand where the virtual stick is pointing at. In all views of Argus, remote users can use the virtual stick to add annotations represented as colored spheres. Technically, Argus received the augmented video stream from both an augmented reality headset 
and an external depth camera located in the augmented reality user's workspace. To generate virtual views from any workspace location, it maintains a synchronized version of the virtual 3D scene using the headset head and hand tracking and a custom protocol based on WebRTC. We then search to observe how remote users navigate between Argus's views and assess how they use Argus's tool to communicate instructions. For this evaluation, we recruited 12 volunteers and considered two, configura two configurations, a headset view only and Argus. We used the headset view without any interaction capabilities as control condition, and we followed a within participant design where all 12 participants tested both users' interface configurations. We decided to focus on a furniture arrangement task, requiring participants to search for miniature furniture in the workspace of the experimenter and place them in a 3D house model. We introduced several constraints, as symbols on the wall of the 3D house model, to create various arrangement tasks unknown to the experimenter. Participants were asked to arrange furniture for three thematic spots, randomly chosen among nine, with respect to these constraints. We segmented collected data to see the use of the virtual view, the use of the external view, and the use of the headset view. Overall, we can see that all participants frequently transitioned between views during the task, even if the virtual view and the headset view dominated the participants' choices. With the smaller segments in yellow and gray, we also observed that the stick and spherical view were also used. Participants used different strategies to complete the task, from using the previews while staying in the virtual view, to frequent alternance between all views with little use of the previews. We transcripted audio recording during each session and count words pronounced by participants. We identified words used for instructions and classified them depending on whether it was to manipulate objects, identify or reach objects, or ask the experimenter to move around. Overall, the Argus user's interface re reduced the number of words that belonged to instructions. Surprisingly, further analysis showed no clear difference in the number of words used by participants to guide the experimenter on how to identify, reach, and manipulate objects. In this work, we studied how different views can help a remote desktop user to collaborate with a local user wearing an augmented reality headset. We presented a user study that compared three view representation, a headset view, an external view, and a virtual view, and based on its results, we developed Argus, a multi-view collaboration system that provides tools for effectively switching between views, virtually navigating in the remote augmented reality workspace, pointing and annotating a 3D model. We then ran a second user study to evaluate how 12 remote participants use Argus to provide instructions to a local user wearing an augmented reality headset in a furniture arrangement task. In the future, we intend to extend Argus to multiple remote users and study communication from the perspective of the local augmented reality user. Thank you for your attention, and for more details, please refer to our paper.